As a result of the 13th and 14th Amendment, many of the freedmen did have the opportunity to carve out uh, some social freedoms. Um, many initially left the plantation, uh, and we say freedmen, we mean uh, people freed uh, from slavery, uh, both man and woman. So these freedmen uh, left the plantation. They oftentimes were uh, looking for relatives that had been, quote unquote, sold down the river. Uh, some black families were actually reunited at the time. Uh, but for the most part, with the exception of the exodusters who moved to Kansas, most of them stayed exactly where they had uh, started, uh, which was on the plantation. Uh, they moved away from the big house, they moved away from the slave cabins and, and created some of their own living quarters. Uh, but for the most part, it's a, a misconception that African Americans left the plantation. Uh, most stayed and did what they knew, which was farm on the plantations. Uh, some of the other social freedoms, though, they were able to marry now, which is uh, a fantastic privilege that they didn't have, legal marriage. Uh, they also formed their own churches away from the prying eyes of the former masters. And uh, as we'll see, uh, education was incredibly important to the freedmen uh, along with political participation.